everyone, I'm Molly here with Row City RV of Michigan and today we're going to take a look at the all new 2025 Puma 337BH. This is all new this year. So is this the correct model for you, you may ask? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model can sleep up to eight people, has a weight of 7,558 pounds, has an overall length of 37 feet, a height of 11 foot 1 inch, and features one slide out. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so starting in the rear of the coach, we're gonna check out the bunk room as this is what this model features. This is a new bunkhouse floor plan to 2025. I've not seen this floor plan yet um, in other models, but I'm sure there'll be other ones out there. This is cool because it has a two person bunk area that's separated and you could put more people back there typically i would only want to put one kid in there but that's up to you um, but it's really cool because you have two separate doors as you can see here and as you go in here in this area you have this bottom bunk and these are the bigger teddy bear bunks um i wouldn't say they're quite full size they might be so don't quote me on that but they are definitely larger than the traditional ones this one being on the bottom the one next door is over the top here so this is really a cool feature for two kids maybe a boy and a girl or maybe two kids that don't always get along um, you can separate the two so cool idea there we also have a coat rack or pantry located in here so that's kind of nice just gives you that extra storage behind the tv radio and fireplace yes the fireplace does make heat which is nice moving along here we have our dual swing 12 volt refrigerator so you can open it all the way on this side or you can open it all the way on this side i have heard some complaints about people not getting the door all the way off they have or not getting the door all the way closed and then it comes off they have made some adjustments here so it is harder to get that door off if you try to open one or two at the same time so that's a bonus i do like that option though for unloading and loading it's convenient to load the fridge from this way and then to use the fridge from this way so i do like that i'm glad they didn't get rid of it and have made some adjustments there and these are glass faces which personally that's my least favorite part about them they look cool but if you do have a spill or an accident or somebody smacks something into it it can shatter now next to this we have our oven and cooktop um, simple basic to the other ones this is a graystone model just one thing i have been saying in the most recent videos they now added thermal couplers to the stove top here so you can't accidentally bump into it and turn it on it will not emit gas unless it recognizes the flame then we have a little illumination lights which are cool up underneath of the counter range and fan there microwave works like a regular microwave nice farmhouse stainless style sink which we do like and then a decorative backsplash just kind of adds a little depth to the kitchen area this is new for 2025 this countertop as well looks like marble um, it, it is a one piece cover top but it is a formica material underneath so not solid surface but it really does a good job looking like it thermostat located here and that's a new style GE thermostat so we'll have to do another video on that moving into the bathroom the bathroom is huge in this unit um, you know I can reach not one from one side to the other and then we've got our tri slide shower so you can actually use the shower I mean I can stand in here pretty comfortably we've got the cutout so if you are a tall person you can fit in there and then um, it also has that stone look and shower enclosure which is really nice as far as the way it looks and two they're not trying to get away with that paneling in there which I definitely prefer lots of room around the toilet area um, and as well as the sink they give you extra storage here besides just the vanity which is nice and then um, little censored light so when you walk in it turns on for you which we like and then the light and the fan switch located there Another thing Puma does and not a lot of brands do, they give you this, which I know it seems like it might not be a big deal, but it is kind of nice to have one already mounted. It's not something you have to figure out on your own. Same with the toilet paper holder located there. So moving into the bedroom, nothing super special here, but you can get around the bed comfortably. So that is definitely a nice feature. You don't always get that with the bunkhouse models. Um, this one being a little bit longer, it does give you that 
walk around space without going totally to a bed slide where you get into the more money and more weight. We also have a entry door in the bedroom and we have steps up here now typically in the use mode those will be down and out of the way some people like that some people don't this is a two-door unit so that's up for you to decide i like that option you can get to the bathroom quick without walking through the whole coach so then we've got our typical bedside storage so hanger here hanger there storage up there and then you're gonna have underneath of the bed some storage there. Moving back into the living space area, we have our booth dinette. So you could sleep somebody here, and then we have a jackknife sofa, which you could sleep people there. Not really adult sleeping, but you could definitely put kids there comfortably. Then we have a little flip up here, so you can have a, a drink council area if you would like. And then some overhead storage above this, which is convenient. Now, let's take a look outside and see what we can see there. Okay, starting at the front of the coach, we have two 30 pound propane tanks located here. Power tongue jack, these are standard options. Then we have our um, battery hookup. We don't have a battery on here now. Then we have power stabilizer jacks. I believe that's an add-on. It might be a standard option now, I can't remember. But you're gonna have those in the front and the rear of those. We also have our pass-through storage located right here. And one thing we just noticed is Puma just went to the magnetic storage doors, which I really like in comparison to the little clips that everybody breaks. So you do get some storage. Most people's complaint on travel trailers, especially bunk houses, you lose out on that storage. You do get this pass through under the bed there, which we like, and then solar on the side. Just one thing to remember, that's not into a solar controller. So if you are looking to add that suitcase solar, make sure you have the uh, voltage regulation on the panel itself. So you don't overdo it on the batteries. Now we have a large, door side awning here. This is going to give you the LED strip, two speakers underneath of here, a little LED light there, which you probably can't see here in the sunshine. Then we have our range vent located there. Outside TV bracket, this is nice. If you wanna put in that outside TV, you can. And then gives you the outlet for it and then the coax for that TV if need be. Also furnace exhaust on this door side. Let's make sure we're not putting anything in front of that when the furnace is on, because that does get hot. Fresh water connection. So if you want to fill the onboard tank, that's where you're going to do that. And then our on-demand water heater, which is a nice feature, is located right there. Little power switch right there. If you have one of those and it's not working, make sure you check those, because they all have that. That also has a hot exhaust, so don't put anything in front of that when that is on. We also have our spray port located right here. So that's a really nice feature and I think it's underrated. I personally use mine all the time. It's super handy. It comes with a regular like garden hose sprayer so you can spray off your feet or rinse the dog, whatever you need to do. Then we have our mini outside kitchen. So it doesn't take up too much space but allows you to still have that. There's going to be a flat top cooktop right here that slides out by simply just lifting up the locks, sliding it out, and it's got this safety catch here. And then we have our little outside refrigerator. So just kind of a nice option, gives you this small one. Doesn't take up a ton of space on the interior, so I like that, but it still gives you that fridge and cooktop outside. Okay, moving to the back, um, like I mentioned before, we have our power stabilizers. The are, these are the PSX-1s, and then we have some underneath bunk storage located here as well, so it gets you a little bit more outside storage. Then on the rear, we have our ladder here, and remember, these are 250-pound capacities on these rear ladders, so make sure we're within that if we're climbing and we're being careful. Then we have our spare tire and our spare tire carrier, along with our coax and um, satellite hookup here. 
So if you need cable or satellite, you can hook it up there and it'll feed those inside ports. 50 amp, this is gonna be a 50 amp coach. So this comes with a 50 amp cord. We provide you with the adapters if you purchase from us as well. So you can go down to 30 and even down to 110. Okay, so slide out. This is what we refer to as a through frame slide out. So that's the style slide out that this is, in my opinion. That's the better one out there. It's been out longest, they're the easiest to fix. Little storage here, right underneath of that dinette as well. And then we have our hookups here for our black and our gray. And then we have black tank flush, city water connection. It's important not to get these two mixed up. If you're hooking your hose up to here, don't get it confused with this one. Then outside shower, that's gonna give us hot and cold on the outside. This is just the other side of our pass-through storage here, which goes all the way through to the other side. Okay, so that's going to do it for the Puma 337. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more RV videos like this.